physically bent in my right hand. Her name is Barbara Pecorella. All the beautiful stuff on the table, she finds the sign. English is my second language, so I never trust in my spelling. So every piece of paper that I write, every letter that I put together, goes to Barbara's hand. So this year, the board decided that we want to keep Barbara alive in the center forever. So the name of our volunteer, a nice center award, now will be the Barbara Pepperella Life Saver Award. My name is Jim Hiesel, and I'm going to be announcing these uh, recipients. Unlike in previous years, I'm going to, usually we do one and then we do the other, but this year, because of the folks that are winning them, we're going to do most of it together, and then I'll present one award, and then I'll present the other. I hesitated to do it that way, but because of who they are, uh, everybody I talked to about it said this is the best way to do it. So I need audience participation for just a moment, and I promise it'll be short and easy. We all know of dynamic duos. These are people that when you hear one name, you automatically hear the other. For instance, um, so I'm going to say the first name, and then you say the corresponding name. If I say Tom, you say Jerry. If I say Laverne, Shirley, Starsky and Hutch, Batman and Hutch, great. You did it. Thank you for playing along. That's, uh, so this duo, however, um, alongside the likes of Bishop Yonta and John and Terry Herring, are the heart and soul of pro-life San Antonio. And the dynamic duo is Mike Kanucky and Patrick Bunroy. They have spent countless hours in front of abortion mills offering hope to confused and scared abortion-seeking women. They organize rallies, walks, political action, protests, and have spoken volumes at City Hall and at the State Capitol. Whatever the situation, these two take action and are the voice for the underground. So I mentioned earlier that I talked to some people that know the dynamic duo. Many of them oftentimes said oftentimes a more fitting dynamic duo might be the Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner. Archie and Edith Bunker. Or George and Louise Jefferson. And I believe they might describe each other as their path to sanctification or their prosperity. But they work, they work together and independently like no others. They've been a great example to me, their families and the community. So there's a gentleman named Vernon Ray who is who's close to both Patrick and Mike. He said Mike and Patrick are the most heroic guys I know. You don't get what they've got from just showing up and holding a sign. You get it from constantly being beat down and not falling down, but standing strong and coming back even stronger. So enough of the dynamic duo theme. We'll do their awards separately now. The winner of the Rick Doucette Memorial Volunteer of the Year Award is Mike Kanucky. Besides all the work he has done for pro-life in our community, he has served on the board at Allied for well over 10 years. Mike is a benefactor's kind of board member. His first question is always why. 
When I was talking to folks about him, Danny Petrie, a good friend, said something that really resonated with me because I've experienced many times with Mike. He said, Mike asks ask questions to help others find answers rather than answering the question for them. And that helps them learn and gain ownership. Mike is grounded, he has strong convictions and doesn't need to go along with popular ideas or thinking if it doesn't match his convictions. He brings a sense of accountability to everything he works on. He pushes back rather than acquiescing, but not out of stubbornness when he's wrong, he admits it. And last, but certainly not least, he drives Perry crazy. <laughs> but Mike, she was the first person to mention you to be a recipient of this award. Wow. Yep. Mike makes Ally better, period. Please help me honor this year's Volunteer of the Year Award. Mike and Mike.
Your dad is here. Thanks to your husband, I know that. <laughs> well, howdy. I got wind that something was arrived. And uh, I was excited because my wife asked me not to go to New York to surprise our daughter who's playing volleyball up there. And instead sent our oldest daughter to join her. And then I heard through the grapevine, Johnny Heron, that uh, my dad and my stepmom, Pat, would be here. Or he's glad they're going to be here. And so, uh, but I was excited because I came here to, to introduce and give this award to Mr. Mike Kanucky. And if you don't know, Mike likes to go around saying that he's like God. He's God like. And I said, there's a lot of perfection still needed on your part to be claiming that, despite the, name, the meaning of your name. And because I came here to, inter to introduce and give this award to Mr. Mike Kanucky, I want to share something about him. Because that's the reason I'm here. That each of you are here because of friendship. How many of you are here because of friendship? Somebody asked to be here. Somebody knows Terry and Johnny Herring. Somebody knows a board member. We are not in this life to be alone. We're in this life to work in the apostolate. Yes, some of us have individual, all of us have individual apostolates. But we also need a group apostolate. And that group apostolate helps fortify you. Helps give you strength and encouragement. And helps kick you in the butt sometimes. And that's what we're here to do. And that's why we start an organization like Allied Women's Center. Bishop Yonta needed Terry Herring. Terry Herring needed Bishop Yonta. And when we started the San Antonio Family Association back in 2011, there were four of us that started it. And one right here, I don't want to go without mentioning him, Mr. Danny Beecher right here, uh, Mike Kanucky, and another board member myself, Jason Cater. We did that to, not to work alone. We did that to work together. Because we realized that iron sharpens iron. And we don't accomplish anything by ourselves. The victory that we're celebrating now in the Dobbs decision on June 24, how great it is. How about it? How about a round of applause for God? That was, as Mike likes to talk about on the sidewalk, that we uh, were there earlier today, he likes to reiterate no one person did this. It was a collection of effort, all organized and led by the Holy Spirit. And he didn't have a chance to tell you, but he, he has been talking about the year of the Jubilee. And the year of Jubilee is the 50th year in the Old Testament in which God set the captives free. And thanks be to God, the captives are being set free in the United States of America, going back to the states, and women to be protected in the state of Texas. There's this quote that I'm going to read to you. It's from Julius Caesar. Anybody, anybody a Shakespeare fan? My freshman year in college, my, I want to recognize my dad and stepmom. Tim Von Dolan, if you raise your hand right there, and Pat Von Dolan, my dad and stepmom. <laughs> yesterday, Terry just celebrated her birthday, and yesterday was just my mom, would have been my mom's 80th birthday. She died in 2015. We were going through her active stage of human death when, after, just after Pope John Paul II had died. And uh, we were watching much of the uh, deliberation and waiting for the white smoke for the new pontiff to be announced after Pope John Paul II had died. And my dad was lucky to meet uh, my stepmom, Pat. And both from, as many people get confused, remember, remember Goliath? She's from Gonzales, come and take it. So we stand in Texas history. But we stand on the shoulders of people that came before us. And everything that's good about me either comes from my dad and mom and added to it by my stepmom, Pat, and my wife and my children. It's a platform that has been raised each and every time to see that we have an opportunity to become better and to change this world. And while I came up here to introduce and, and uh, this award to Mike I want to give you a quote to leave you with. From Julius 
second Julius Caesar and Shakespeare. And this applies to a few people in my life. I've set this at a few funerals. And I have a chance to share it with my hair shirt today. Most of you find my Dr. Time hair shirt you know because he's my hair shirt. You know, a hair shirt does it makes you itch. It makes you want to get out of there. It makes you want to get up and go moving and get away from someone. And so uh, I know that my presence to my Kanucky might seem grotesque, but it's essential, and we have saved lives together. There's nothing as great as being on your knees on the sidewalk, praying for women in crisis and dads that fulfill their responsibilities and they come walking into an abortion facility, as to have a woman drop what she had and run over to the sidewalk and say, you are what I needed to see today. I'm pregnant, I came here for an abortion, your presence here has encouraged me to have my child. My wife asked me the other day, another thing told me something's up. She goes, why are you so active in pro-life? I don't get it. My dad debated Sarah Weddington on the House floor in 1971 in the Texas House of Representatives. It might have been 73, forgive me. For eight hours to keep Texas abortion free. He won the vote in the House and lost the vote in the Senate. But that's that man right there that taught me as soon as I could walk that we are fighting for people's lives, and most notably the people who couldn't speak for themselves. And so when I say that we build on the platform that someone else has given us, we have an opportunity to do that through the Holy Spirit. So I leave you with this. And a few people, few people actually live up to this. So Mike Kenuffy is one of those, and he's the reason I came here tonight to present this award, despite my recipient, my receiving it. The seven one. So thank you, my hair shirt. <laughs> cowards. Cowards die many times before their death. The valiant never taste death but once. Of all the wondrous things that I yet have seen, it seems to me most strange that men should fear death. A necessary end will come when it comes. Mike often talks about how lucky it would be to face death. He says, life is gain. Excuse me, life is Christ and death is gain. And I say, think he says that because he still thinks that my presence is very gruesome to him. So I want to thank you to uh, Women's Center for uh, recognizing for this opportunity. But it's really about my hair shirt. We got the Volunteer of the Year Award, who was there for me when my mom, for 13 days, was in the hospital, who stood in for me and ran my business and got no compensation for it that solidified our relationship. So it was friendship, and I encourage you to make friends with other pro-lifers. It's through that friendship we can accomplish all things. It's through that friendship that we will go forward to make sure that all women and children are protected in the state of Texas. But I can tell you right now, not all women and children are protected in the state of Texas. We're, we're on the sidewalk today. And there's attempts at Planned Parenthood in South Texas to still destroy women and kill babies, all for the sake of money. They are the newest travel agency in the state of Texas. They are arranging travel to go to New Mexico, wherever else it might be. And I can tell you through a conversation I've had with a state legislator, and encourage you to, to seek, seeking help right now. We need your help because there's a movement afoot to get state legislators to change the pro-life law in the state of Texas right now to make a rape and incest exception in the great Human Life Protection Act right, that's in existence right now. We, you need to know that this election that we're having right now is crucial. You need to encourage the ones who are elected Go testify at, state, at the state capitol and make sure that they know that women who, are, who conceive and rape, the, the healthiest thing that they can do 
and the natural thing that they can do, ensuring space for that baby that she's now conceived, and that, the healthiest thing she can do is give birth to the child she's carrying. She's worth defending, so is the child, and we cannot allow a rape and incest exception to come in to the Human Life Protection Act in the state of Texas. Are you with me? Yes. is that who not, whoever follows uh, state pro-life law. In Minnesota, they don't call them propositions, they call them proposals. And in Minnesota, there's a proposal called Proposal 3 right now that's on the ballot in November. If that law is passed, if that proposal is passed, abortion will be legal in all phases of, work and of, of gestation in Minnesota. Children will be able to go through gender mutilation without parental notification. And many other bad things are going to happen. There's hundreds of millions of dollars being poured into Minnesota right now to change that law that's pro-life law, mostly pro-life law in the state of Minnesota. What do you think is going to go if it passes in Minnesota? It's going to go everywhere else. Excuse me, Michigan. I'm saying Minnesota is Michigan. The fight for life is not over. Join with Allied Women's Center. Join in the fight tonight. Support Allied Women's Center the best way you can. Prayers and your pelt, your money and give to them because they are on the ground, boots on the ground, helping women with their bills, help them take money as a reason to, to, to kill their child and to save their life and their child's life as well. So join with me in supporting San Allied Women's Center. Thank you very much.